Hi everybody, uh, this is the first lesson. It seems to be working, it's good because I'm recording in a room that I'm not really recording. So this is the first lesson of the straight line graphs part. It's only worth two lessons. Uh, some people call it coordinate geometry. So if you look it up anywhere, it might be down as coordinate geometry. Can you see my colour of that pen? Um, work on getting some extra colours. Right, so stuff you should know from GCSE. You should know that the gradient between two points is a change going up divided by a change going across. So you should hopefully remember that. You should also know that the midpoint is just the average of the x's and the average of the y's. And for the length of it, you should be happy that you're just using Pythagoras. That's the proper full formula. What I tend to do is draw a little picture, then I can see how far across it goes, and I can also see how far up it goes. So I don't necessarily use the formula, but I do, if that makes any form of sense whatsoever. Right, so let's have a look at this one then. So we've got an example. So it says the midpoint, so that's the average of the x's. So be careful because people use the wrong numbers. So that's 1 plus a minus 4 over 2. And it's minus 2 plus a 3 over 2. So that should give us a minus 3 over 2 or minus 1 and a half. And a half. So that's your midpoint between those two points. And if you think about it, 1 minus 2, say, is here, and then minus 4, 3 is left and up. So there. And I can kind of work my way out by working, you know, how, you know, how can I go halfway? But what's quite nice about this picture for the next bit, I can work out how far across I've travelled. So I've gone from 1 to minus 4, so I know I've gone 5 across. I've gone from minus 2 up to 3, so I know I've gone uh, 5 up. There. Not, <laughs> maybe not the best example of the same two numbers, but never mind. We'll go with it. Right then, so for the distance, I could use the proper full formula. And in which case I'd have like a minus 2, minus 3 for x's, that's for y, sorry, and a 1 minus a minus 4. But I've looked on here, I know that going across is 5 and going up is 5. So that would give me root 50, which should be 5 lots of root 2 for the distance. But you could use the, the proper formula if you wanted to. Same idea with the gradient, if you look at it, you know it's going down by 5, and it goes across by 5, so your gradient is minus 1. I'm using the proper formulas, but from my picture, I'm kind of using it easier. Right, there's a question for you, so please have a go at that one. I'll just move it up so you can see. And that's what they've got for them two points. I'll draw a little picture. Uh, so five minus let's point it down a bit. Five minus seven is there, and b is minus three zero. So it's left and up. So then you can work out how far across. So I go across eight and I go up seven. So that helps you for the so I keep an eye on the clock because I don't know if the timer, which you can't see, you can see it now. As a five minute timer or a ten minute timer. I'm hoping it's a ten minute timer so I keep on talking while we reach. Right then, so equations of straight lines. Um, there are different ways of showing an equation of a straight line. You're used to y equals mx plus c, and you know that the gradient is 5 for 5x five minus 2. The y intercept is where the x is zero, so it must be minus two. The x-intercept is when, uh, when 
Well, the one thing you see, well, that's it. Look at my timer here now, so I'm on 457, 58. Is it going to stop on 5 or is it going to keep going? Yay, we're on 10 minutes. Right, that's cool. So if I set y equal to 0, I've got 0 is 5x minus 2. So if I take the 2 over and divide by 5, I've got x is 2 fifths. Right. Uh, it asks now, uh, does 2 comma 7 lie on the line? So if I put 2 in, I should get 7 out. So I've got 5 lots of 2 uh, minus 2. So that's going to be 8. So if that's the case then, 2, 7 does not lie on the line. So therefore, 2, 7 is not on the line. So this one must work, must it? You know, we're not going to have one that doesn't work and then one that doesn't work. Let's see if it works then. So if I sub in 3, so that's 15 minus 2 is 13. Therefore, 3, 13 lies on the line. There. There you go. So that's the whole of your page 2 complete. Let's have a look at page so there's another form uh, which is like x is y's and numbers and it's kind of like if we wanted to solve simultaneous equations for it. Right, so the gradient. What I need to do is a rearrange. And this is where people kind of go astray. So if I move the 3y over, I've got a 5x plus 8 is 3y. And then if I divide by 3, that's the equation of my line, which you can read it. So my gradient is 5 over 3. So I've rearranged it for the gradient. What's quite nice now with the y-intercept, I'm saying why that's x is 0. And you can't, you can't see it really for what I'm going to do. But if I put x is 0, it disappears. So I've got minus 3y plus 8 is 0. So 8 is 3y, 8 over 3 is y. So I could do it that way, check that box. Actually, I might use that box. And for the x-intercept, where I set y equal to 0, if I just move that across and cover up the y now, it's called the cover-up method. So I cover up the x when x is 0, cover up the y when y is 0. So if y is 0, I've got 5x plus 8 is 0, so x is minus 8 over 5. I've got all the information I need to draw that line if I needed to. So here's a dodgy set of axes. So I've got, oh, I've got a minus and that's all right, kind of going more that way. So I've got a minus 8 over 5 and, a, and an 8 over 3. So I've got a line going like that. So that would be 8 over 3. And that would be minus 8 over 5. Randomly, you're not often taught at GCSE that fast way of drawing a straight line. You do table the values. But if you've got use a cover-up method, you've got way across as each axis, you can draw a straight line straight. Right. I'm on eight and a half minutes, but what's down here is quite a lot of work. So I'm going to stop the video there and I'm going to start it again for another video. Right, well done, sir.